Now I will tell you about the CSRF token. When a user visits your Laravel application, then remember that a CSRF token is generated and stored in the session for that particular user. This token is typically a long random string. When a user visits from his browser, he will see on token value. If another user from another end or from another PC log into your application, he will see another separate token. That means from user to user, the token will be changed. So remember that. Here in this form, you see that there is no token. Now, when I will send this form request, for example, someone will fill up the form and then he will just submit the form. When a user will click on the submit button, what will be happened? Then this user will go to a route and this route I will have to define as the post route. So I am going to the web.php and here I am going to copy this code from here and paste it. For example, this is contact store. This URL is not important here because this will be actually a post route. So post and give here anything you want. Now in the contact controller here, this will be actually the a store method so i will create a method into here that will be public function and a store and here remember that in the store i will have to call the request class object i will have to create an object here that is request so here i am going to call to check the request request of all so all the request i will see using the dd so what i will do in the contact form now i am going to refresh this is the form now it is not working because the root is not defined okay you see that in the contact form i call here root but it is not defined here i am going to call the store so here i will have to give here a name that is name route that will be a store now it will work now in the contact just refresh you will see that name email phone message these are here okay so now i am going to give something so here for example like this this is a message if i click on submit what will happen it will go to the contact store but you see that there is a 419 page expired that means there is an error it is not working why it is not working because i did not use any csrf token here in it, this is very easy to use a csrf token because in previous we used like this csrf token like this but now it is very simple that is using the bullet directive you can easily set up it this is okay so this at the rate of csrf will do the task so here if i now again go back and from here click I will have to refresh it actually refresh you will see that if i go to inspect the element that means here if i go to inspect you will see that a hidden field comes here input type hidden name equal to underscore token and value is this value this is a unique value for you if another user from another pc opens your application he will just see here another separate value so it is actually very hard for the hacker to bypass this the csrf the attack he will not be able to do if you use this method when a person just use the csrf what is happened if you go to the kernel you will see that here is a csrf token validation in the web route you see that here is a verify csrf token this class right so this one you can easily use here so this middleware actually works here that means what is the task of this middleware this middleware is actually response the verifying the csrf token for all the incoming post or put or delete or patch request here we use the post request so in the case of post request the verify csrf token this middleware will work if you go to the middleware you will see that there is a token verify csrf token and this is the code here now if you submit the form then what will be happen if i submit for example phone number is here actually this is the email and arifin is the name okay now i am going to click on submit you see that now the form is passed to this route that is post and so a store function is calling here 
and here I see all the requests that comes here you see that the token is one of the request here and this is the token value and also I receive other values that is name email phone and message so in this way you can easily use the CSRF token in your application to protect your application against the CSRF attack